A-Star helicopter, and I'm talking Black Ops Cool. Now this helicopter model holds the world record for touching down on the highest peak on the planet, and that's when Frenchman Didi Delcel kissed the top of Mount Everest. That's 29,032 feet. Airliners don't fly much higher than that. I'm Bruce Hafner, and this is that Chopper Guy Show. Now it's not often that life hands you the opportunity to fly with people who made a real difference in this nation's history. But that's exactly what happened one beautiful sunny Saturday afternoon in the skies over Texas. Our buddy Scott Glover with the Mid-America Flight Museum tells the story. And Bruce, I had the opportunity and the great privilege to fly with a 95-year-old veteran, Gerald Parker, who flew our DC-3 in World War II. Check out this video. Okay, are you ready? Ready. Here we go. I'll help you with the throttles. Come on up with them. Keep coming, I'll tell you when to quit. Push, there you go. Push it on up, looking good. 40 inches. Power looks good. 75 knots, looking good. Okay, we got, we're climbing good, so I'm gonna get the gear. Gear up. Gear's coming up. It certainly looks like this 95-year-old World War II veteran still has the right stuff. Yes, those flying skills Uncle Sam taught Gerald Parker so many years ago. He shared his wartime experience as he flew Sky King, this C-47 that saw battle in the skies over Europe. You were prepping for the D-Day uh, invasion, so tell me a little bit about the D-Day mission. Well, the big thing they stressed was timing because of the volume of aircraft flying into the area and trying to avoid mid-air collisions. So you got a lot of airplanes up pretty quick. Yeah, four minutes. And four minutes you launched 72 aircraft. Four minutes, 22, 26 seconds was our record at night. While the Nazis tried to blow the 21-year-old Parker out of the sky, he just focused on his missions. And he remembered the time this airplane was hit. What do you remember about this airplane? I remember about the one that came in under the radio operator seat and lodged in Don's parachute and burned it so he didn't have a parachute to, to jump out. Okay. But the other thing I remember, we both felt nobody but us made it through. It was that bad. You felt like you were the only ones. That's amazing. We had eight separate bullet penetrations, and each engine had one, and didn't bother the engines. And we, wow. we stayed at 500 feet. They went down to the deck, and I think we were better off. They were doing more shooting at the low ones than they were at us. Well, I'll tell you what, I sure have enjoyed talking to you, and uh, this old bird's flying good, isn't it? Yeah, it's really nice and smooth. Yeah, it's up here on top of these clouds. It is absolutely just beautiful. Well, how about let's go see if we can land this puppy. All right. Does that sound like a plan? We'll go ahead and get your gear down. How about it? Okay. Boost pump's coming on. The mixture's going to auto rich. Good job. Yep, that's is that the runway. Way down there? Yep, you can start your turn to final. Looking good. I'm going to give you flaps one quarter. Probably should take a half before we get a little closer. You want a half now? No. Okay. You just call them, I'll give them to you. <laughs> it's amazing how little you forgot.
Wow, what a privilege, Scott. It was such an honor to get to fly with that man and get to know him over the last 10 years. Actually, he was flying that airplane. I was his co-pilot. Gerald's story has become a favorite among the Chopper Guy crew. And just four days after we shot that video, Gerald passed away in his sleep. But we like to think that Gerald died with a smile on his face, dreaming of his last flight. You know, flying helicopters is like flying a magic carpet ride. You just can't believe the places it takes you. Like the time we flew News Chopper 3 from Phoenix all the way up to Seattle, and we flew the coastline the whole way, 200 feet. It was amazing. We saw whales. We saw dolphins. We flew over Alcatraz. But the highlight of my flying career was flying under the Golden Gate Bridge. And I know what you're thinking. And yes, it is legal. Let's go flying everywhere. Faster, higher, light in the air. Above it all, always there. Hey folks, thanks for flying with us aboard Chopper Guy 1. And hit that little button that says subscribe. Just hover over that thing and do a touch and go. Thanks a lot.